Hello, my name is Tropstar. Welcome to my channel. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic and doing very well. I killed that shit, didn't I? Nigga, please! But besides that, hey man, what's good, y'all? I'm coming to another freaking video today. And in today's video, I don't know what I'm gonna title this, so I'm not even gonna tell y'all what we get into because I don't know what I'm gonna title this. I'm gonna just go with the flow. But as y'all can tell by the title on thumbnail, it's gonna have something to do with this fragrance, one million at least. It's gonna have something to do with this. Now, this is actually my homeboy's fragrance. He let me brawl it for a little bit. Quick little backstory on this. This was before he had showed me the bottle, right? He was like, yeah, bro, I just got that new one million cologne. I'm thinking he got one million EDT, right? He's like, yeah, I just got one that one million cologne. I was like, dang. I was like, how much you paid for it? He was like, well, it was 200. Two honey, two, 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 two honey. They got Diddy and R. Kelly on your ass if they really did that. Even though it's not my money, I was so mad for my dog because I'm like, bro, do you know how much? Do you know? Do you know the better fragrances you can get for two hundred dollars? You could have got two different. <sighs> I, I try not to trip. I, I try to hold it in as much as I could. But when he had went to his car, he had pulled it out. Pause. But when he pulled it out, I seen that it was actually one million elixir, and I was like. You know what? I was like, bro, let me use this for a video right quick. He was like, Man, go ahead. Now, you guys know I'm a big advocate at 1 million lucky. I love 1 million lucky. And the reason I do not really like favor these other 1 million fragrances is because that they they all smell too similar to um the original EDT to me. To my nose. I know a lot of people say, oh, you just stupid. You just, I like, it just, it's just my nose, bro. I don't know why. I don't know how, but it's like, I smell the original. I smell the original too much for me to be praying elixir prices. That's too much. No. The reason I love One Million Lucky so much is that it just, it takes its own path a little bit, but it's still, you know what I'm saying? It still has that One Million scent in there. But One Million Lucky diverses itself way, way more. It was actually my fragrance of the day, and I'm finna have to re-up because I've been using this a lot, man. And when I tell y'all the compliments I get with this little thing, what? I tell y'all. What if I layer this with Alex? We're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that. But hey, man, I know y'all ready. I'm ready. Let's get shit into it. All right, so I never really had it like a one-on-one -on -one time with this fragrance. I'm actually going to go more diverse into it because as you guys know, when I'm smelling fragrances, I'm smelling a lot at a time. So sometimes they can get, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more. If you if you, if you, if you smell a lot at a time, you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. I can't say it, but you know what I'm trying to say. But smelling that much at a time, it's kind of, it causes a hazard. My nigga. It can cause a hazard. But you know what? Just off the sniffs, it smells like, it smells good. It smells like vanilla with like some peanut butter like nutty but like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little i'm a little fan of it i'm a little fan of it but before we get into this i want to see how much this exactly costs hold on 150 god damn 150 all right let's see if we can back it up let's see let's see if it's worth 150 but hey without further ado let's get straight into it y'all test y'all spray on y'all top of your hand or forearm i'm going to get on that forearm let's test that amazer Good, 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 good little spread. To be honest with y'all, I'm not smelling much of nothing. I'm gonna I'm go a couple more sprays. Okay, now I can smell a little bit more. Sweet, of course. Intense. I'm smelling spices. I don't know if that's spices or if it's just the amount of alcohol I just sprayed on my hand. I mean, my um, arm. It's good, but like I said, it's, it it reminds me of the one million EDT. It just it just the DNA. It's not really doing nothing to me. A hundred and fifty dollars. A hundred and fifty dollars. Y'all, I'm having trouble smelling this fragrance. Like I'm really like trying to like inhale everything I. Now this is really instantly went into my skin. Is something wrong? I know some. Hold on, let me spray it on the tester strip right quick. Right, maybe that will help. Okay, kind of cut. What? Kind of does help a little bit. The scent is very flat to me. It smells a little floral. It smells a little more gourmand. Like it smells a little richer than the original EDT. I'm really having trouble smelling this. That is crazy. Wow, this is crazy, y'all. I can't even lie, like, 
I thought I, I thought I would expect it better than this, especially this being an, an elixir. I shouldn't be having to stuff my nose down my skin to smell this. When you first spray it in the air, it smells good. I don't know. It might be. It might just be. Hold on. I'm asking my sister right quick. Hold on. Do it smell good? Mm-hmm. Mari, no, be for real. Like, be for real. I am. Mm-hmm. It smells good? Mm-hmm. Ready one through ten. A ten. Are you serious? Are you just yes, saying I'm it? serious. Like, the little bit that I am smelling of it, it just smells like small florals. It smells a little warm. It smells good, though, the little bit that I am smelling. It smells good, but besides that, you know what? Let's see what Aaron thinks right quick. My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. He killed that shit. Aaron. Do we have our bottles of uh, 1 million elixir? Are yes. we engaged with the higher self? I'm finna see what he smells. Oh, so crunchy, synthetic, sweet, strong. I'm gonna let it dry down because no. I think it's, uh, it's gonna dry. I love the apple note in it. I don't smell no apple. Isu Super, Hedion, choice of good mass, Galaxide, Hannibal, um, Hannibal Ida, which reminds me of Hannibal Lecter. I smell it's straight alcohol. And in fruit accords, it can give sort of this feel to it, which sort of is a little bit sort of like malic acid, which is the acid that's in apples. So that sort of sharp, appley thing is the Hannibal Ida mixed with the sort of the Cumarin, vanilla and ethyl vanilla. And, oh, ethyl malta. All right, Joe, he's done with that video because I thought Aaron was going to break it down a little bit better. I got lost. He done put me lost in the sauce. That ain't, he ain't making no better. But what I did was, I, I did smell it a little bit. It just, it smells, it smells like this warm, good scent, but it's like, I can't, I don't smell no notes. I don't smell like, you know, like you smell fruity, you can smell cinnamon, you can, I don't smell anything. Let me try to spray something else just to make sure I'm not tripping. It's crazy I can smell this Lamal. More than I can smell this elixir. Hold on, hold on. I did smell, I, just, I did smell vanilla a little bit. I do smell vanilla in there. It's just, it's very soft. It's very subtle. And it's crazy how Lamal is just outpowering in elixir. Fra I'm done reviewing this fragrance, bro. You know what you guys, I'm gonna eat, chill out for a little bit, come back in a couple hours, like four or five hours, and then let y'all know what's up. Yeah, hopefully I smell something or I'm gonna ask my mom if she, you know what I'm saying? She wanna smell, I'm gonna ask her or something. I just need something, bro, because this is $150. This is crazy. Three hours later. All right, y'all. So it has been approximately three hours since we sprayed this on, and still the same. I don't smell any notes. It just smells, it's just, it's, it smells like a warm goodness. Like, I don't smell any specific notes, like no vanilla, no, 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 nothing. It just smells like a warm fragrance. And when I went to ask my mom, like y'all know this, y'all know how important this is. My mom, she's my number one tester. I brought it up to her nose. I was like, mommy, what you think about this? She just said, it's okay. I was, at that moment, I was like, yeah, I know I'm not tripping. When she said, it's okay. I know I'm not tripping. I don't, I don't know. I think just the notes on my skin is just, they fade so quickly or something. Cause when I was looking up and I was doing a couple research on this, Everybody else saying this is strong on their skin and everybody saying how much this projects it. I'm not getting none of that, bro. I'm, this, I'm, this is a skin scent on my skin. Yeah, this 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 ain't made for me. I'm glad I did not waste my money on this, bro. Because if I would have wasted $150, I would have been pissed. I would have been more than pissed. I would have I would have killed myself. But this is why I always say spray before you buy. Test before you buy, bro. Because everybody's skin is different. I promise you, if I would have given off what everybody says on TikTok, look at the position I'm in now. You feel me? Let this be an example to y'all. Make sure y'all test before y'all buy. But it does smell amazing in the air. So I do think for somebody that does have good skin for this, you will love this. But you just have to test to know. But hey, man, that is it for today's video. If y'all own one million elixir or like y'all tested it out before, let me know y'all thoughts on it. Do y'all like fuck with it and rate it one through 10? But yeah, that is it for today's video. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. And tomorrow is the comparison coming between Versace Eros and Versace Eros Flame. We're gonna have females react to it. So stay tuned tomorrow for that video. And yeah, I'll be catching on the next one.